Let's go through the scripture, Matthew chapter number seven. I read your prayer request and praise the Lord. It's so beautiful how many people want to come to Jesus. That's what ministry is all about. It's about the saving of souls, the blessings of multitudes. It's not about be winning the popularity contest. I ain't trying to win no popularity contest. It's not about who's the most popular preacher. It's not about who's the best preacher. It's not about none of that. Praise the Lord. If God going to make me popular, then that's to win souls around the world. It's not to brag on me, but it's to see Jesus get the glory through me. I am not the only one who God is using. I'm not a one-man show. I believe God is using you too in a mighty way. Everyone is not called to preach. You may have a, a different field. God may have put you in a different field, but we are all preaching about the same Jesus. Look what the Bible declares in Matthew chapter number seven, the words of Jesus Christ. Verse 13, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadest to destruction. I want to read that again. The words of Jesus. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadest to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadest unto life, and few there be that find it. Mm, the Lord spoke to me uh, a couple of seconds ago. He said, give the scripture to my people. Jesus told me, he said, feed my sheep. Praise the Lord. Those who love Jesus, you are God's sheep. And we're growing. You got the sheep and you got the lambs. Praise the Lord. And we're growing. At higher heights and deeper depths in God. And I don't want to stay on the same level. Praise the Lord. We are all striving to make it to heaven. This is why we live for Jesus. Because we want to be with Jesus. Praise the Lord. And have eternal life to be with Jesus. When that rapture take place. When that trumpet sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and we that are alive and who are remain shall be caught up to meet him in the air together in the air this is why we live so but this is why we live for Jesus but the devil is trying to keep us back from making it into heaven he's trying his best the devil's not so much worrying about the ones who he already have he's worrying about the ones who he don't have amen you we, uh, we used to belong to sin because we was all born in sin. But ever since Jesus saved you and filled you with the Holy Ghost, praise the Lord. The devil is mad, amen, but God is still glad. And I'm glad too. We have to be determined to stay with Jesus because the devil puts traps out there. He's very tricky. Jesus warned us about the devil. He said, be wise as serpents, which is talking about the devil, and be harmless as a dove, amen. So, in order to stay with Jesus, keep taking the straight gate because broad is a way that lead us to destruction. You know, I came from New York City. Me and my wife, Priscilla, Lady Adams, came from New York City. She came from Brooklyn. She was born in Brooklyn. I was born in Harlem, but we was both born in New York City. And many times I preached down on Broadway on 42nd Street, 46th Street. You see, Broadway. Amen. And I thought about it. Who, you know, who would name that street Broadway? And and, and not to try to put them down or to judge anybody, but you know that, that, that Broadway on 42nd Street has so much adultery and fornication going on and lust and half-naked women, not to put them down because Jesus loves them, but he doesn't want you to be loose with your body. And that's bringing on lust, but they do it deliberately. Even the men got their shirt off and, and, and showing off their muscles and, and got women drooling and lusting and carrying on. And it, it reminds me of Psalm Gomorrah down on 46th Street, Broadway. And I thought about the scripture when Jesus said, broad is the way that leads us to destruction. Well, you see them areas where they got all that sin going on and they got them states where they had the Mardi Gras and women pulling their, um, showing their chests and pulling up their t-shirts and, and they, and they getting beads, all that for beads. Mm, it's like, it reminds me of Jerry Smith's show. Amen. Folks should be calling on Jesus. I pray that Jerry would get Jesus. God loves him too. And praise the Lord, amen, but he doesn't love the sin that we commit. I'm talking about me too, not just about you, because if I don't live right, I'm going to hell. I ain't trying to go no hell. And praise the Lord, I want to take the straight gate, the straight gates. And praise the Lord, tell someone, go, go, go straight. 
Don't go crooked. Go straight. Because when you go the wrong way, then going the wrong way will lead you the wrong path. Many times when you uh, uh, um, trying to go the straight way, the devil's trying to lead you the wrong way. He wants to send you the wrong friends. A lot of them even sit right in church. A lot of them could be on your job. It could be your own coworker or your own boss. The devil assigns people to try to lead you the wrong direction. And many times they they come as a wolf in she clothing. They come nice. They come acting like they're your friend and, and let them come handsome and pretty. The devil he wants you to marry marry a wolf. And because the reason why he wants to do that, because you want to use them to draw you the wrong way, go with the going the broad way. But go God's way. Take the straight gate. Enter E in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that fight it. Few? Jesus said, few be that find it, and few there be that find it. Why? Because, go to verse 15, beware of false prophets, which come to you in she clothing, but inwardly there are as raven wolves. Beware of false prophets. Praise the Lord. Let's go to part two.